guess who's back? Mr. Flatbed Gang himself. Flatbed Gang. Had a ball in Vegas. Didn't make no videos out there. I thought I was going to have time to make one, but I didn't. So, you know, like I said, y'all follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook. You know, y'all might got a little piece of what I was doing. Y'all see what I'm holding in my hand right here? Y'all see what that is? It's Rand McNally. TND 80, I believe it's called. I believe this thing is about, uh, I want to say it's about, it's between four and 500. Um, when I got it, I can't remember exactly how much it was, but now I've seen it at the truck stop now. They had it on sale for like $3.99. So like I was saying, it's a Ram McNally TND 80. That's what it is. I trust this GPS. I trust it with my life. When I was with my trainer a while back, my million mile trainer, you know, he he always used to talk. Well, you know, he used to preach about using the Atlas and all that and how, how you know, like since the GPS has came out, a lot of guys use the GPS to get, get themselves in trouble. But he also told me, he, use, he uses a GPS. He also told me that the reason he uses the Rand McNally is because guess, guess who makes, guess, okay, man, here it is right here. It's 2018. Might be a little outdated, but you know, ain't too much changed. Rand McNally, Motor Carriers, Road Atlas. The reason I'm telling y'all this right now because I got a lot of flack on my last video. I'm not going to say I got a lot. I'm going to say maybe maybe 5%, 5%. Maybe not even that. Maybe 3% of flack on that video about driving on that uh, that mountain road that I was on. A lot of people were like, uh, I, I would never trust my GPS. I always consult an Atlas. Let me tell you something, man. No matter what y'all tell me, it's no way. No way you're gonna look at this atlas while you're driving. No way you're gonna, unless you're gonna pull over every two minutes. No way. No way you're gonna look at this thing while you're driving. The GPS is a tool. And a lot, a lot of you young drivers that watch me, you get, don't get discouraged by these older cats talking about, oh man, I, ne I never use the GPS. I, I never use it, it gets you in trouble every time. Man, a lot of old heads say that, man. And a lot of these old drivers talk about, you know, you know, you hear it all the time. These old drivers, well, you know, back in my day, we didn't use GPSs. And back in my day, we made $3,000, $4,000 a week. You know, truck has changed and all that. Hey, I said this one time in my video before, man. All of these old guys that always got something to say. And it's not all of them. It's, it's a small percentage. I said it before. I'm going to say it again. All these old drivers that always got something to say, man, about how good it was in their day. Hey, hey, next time one of those old drivers tries to give you a speech about something, I want I want you to ask him if he's 60 years old and he's been doing this for so you know most most jobs, most jobs, man, 20, 25, 30 years, they hey, they're retired, man. They're sitting at home with, collecting the pension, the 401k waiting on social security you know they got about three different sources of income coming in and whatever part-time job they're doing that's that's how a lot of jobs are the thumbnail i put on that video that mountain video what was it uh the same video I, that i picked up that that the railroad ties when i was on that mountain road i put a thumbnail up there the thumbnail i don't know if, i don't know how good y'all could see that but it was a picture of the smith system and it was a coincidence that when I dropped that load off and when I was leaving from that railroad yard, I saw they had a Smith system um, sign right there on the exit. And so I took a picture of it because I felt like, you know, that was, that was you know, following the Smith system is something that, you know, I know y'all probably get tired of hearing about the Smith system and, and going to classes on the Smith system and all this and that. And look what I have right here. Smith system. 
Drive different, save lives. Changing driving habits since 1952. I went to a Smith System class probably about a month ago. Whenever I don't, I don't know, some of y'all may know that I ran past the weight station about two months ago. And I had to go in and take a, a Smith System class on it. Don't ask me how. Well, I'll tell you how. How did I run past the weight station? I got caught up in the left lane. I wasn't paying attention. And I ended up running past it. Because the weight station, it wasn't like, I wasn't on the interstate. I was like on a state road. And it was like, it wasn't like the traditional weight station that you could see it coming up and you get bypassed and out. It was like off in the woods. And so by the time I saw it, it was too late for me to get over. So I just ended up running past it. So they sent out state troopers. State troopers came out behind me. I uh, had a Charger and a Tahoe. Came out and got, uh, got me, made me turn around, go back. They ended up giving me uh, a level one inspection. Passed it. Didn't get my drive for gold points. <laughs> when safety called me, I was like, yo, man, I passed it. Because I, I don't know how many points you get. What you get, like 40,000, 50,000 points for passing the inspection? When safety called, they were like, yeah, I, I see you got a, a citation for a weight up. Uh, bypassing the weight station they don't they don't write it up as bypassing the weight station they write it up as uh failure to follow traffic control device so you know on paper that looks like i ran a stop sign a stop sign stop light something like that that's that's how they wrote it up so i had to i had to go in uh take the smith system uh class luckily it didn't take long because i was the only one in there and so i got this book Smith system drive different save lives and, and and but you know like I said y'all y'all probably get tired of tired of hearing about this shit hey but it's actually a pretty good thing man it's actually a pretty good thing because key two got it on the back key two get the big picture keep your eyes moving you know what if I would have had the big picture if I would have kept my eyes moving then I never would have ran past that weight station but that ain't why that ain't why I'm talking about it I'm talking about this because this is the reason I'm talking about it. Okay. When I was driving in the mountains the other day, on that on that road that a lot of people was, I'm not gonna say a lot, cause you know it's only select few that, that always got something negative to say. I remember one guy that commented, and it really wasn't negative, but he said, um, a human, humans have intuition, uh, GPSs don't. He, he said that, and, and I'm gonna give you my take on that. Yeah, he's exactly right. Humans have intuition, GPS is done. So even though on that video, you know, that video just shows me driving on the road. It doesn't show you, it doesn't show you everything that's going on in my mind. Driving in Virginia, when you're driving in Virginia, a lot of times, and, and, and I'm, I'm just using Virginia as an example, uh, in other states too, but see, I, I drive in Virginia a lot. So driving in Virginia, when you're on the interstate, if you're on 81, I'm not even going to say 95, because you might see some, some exits on 95 that'll say no trucks, stuff like that. But uh, mainly on 81, and uh, you get on 64, you'll see signs before you get to an exit. It'll be like, uh, through trucks prohibited on state route or U.S. route or whatever. And you know, you have to, you have to keep your eyes open. You will see those signs. You will see those signs before you come to an exit. It will say, no no trucks, no trailers, no RVs. It'll tell you. If you hey, I'm pretty sure y'all know what I'm talking about. It will tell you that. It'll have a sign on that exit. Before you get off on that exit, you'll see a sign that says, through trucks prohibited on state route or U.S. route. You got to keep your eyes open for that. So even if your GPS tells you to get off on that exit, if you see one of those signs that say, through trucks prohibited, that... Or it'll say, um, this route not recommended for um, combination vehicles. And my Ram and Alley has not steered me wrong yet. My, it has not told me to get off on one of those exits that says no trucks. So the exit that I got off on, of course, if I would have saw one of those signs that said uh, no trucks on this route or whatever, then I wouldn't have got off on that exit. But that place that I picked up at, y'all only saw that the, 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 the way that I went in y'all didn't see the way that I went out because I didn't, I didn't uh I cut it off but the way the way out it was it wasn't as bad as the way the way that I took to go in but it was still pretty bad and but the lady 
that that was there you know she told me how to get out there when i got on that road my gps it caught up with it it took me like 10 it took me like 10 miles down the road bust the left bust the right i was back on the interstate so if i ever go to that place again i hear that train over there i'm sitting at the uh sitting down here in wilmington right now about to pick up some steel some skidded skidded coils or something i'm not sure what it is but uh anyway Anyway, like I was saying before that train interrupted me, choo choo, choo choo. <laughs> hey, y'all be blowing y'all horn for the kids when they when they be doing that. That's just, hey, I, I do it all the time. But anyway, Smith system, aim high and steering. That's what I did when I was on that road. I, I was aware of my trailer at all times because it was tight roads like those rattlesnakes. Aim high and steering. I got my seat down low right now. My buddy Jimmy, he like to sit down here. Hey, I had I just got a phone call and cut my camera off, so you might see a little jump in the camera. What was I talking about? Aim high and steering. That's that's what I did when I was when I was driving on uh driving on that road. I was back, I was aware of where my trailer was at because I was on some tight roads, you know. I had to keep an eye on my trailer, especially my right side, make sure my uh Make sure my tires didn't drop down in the ditch. Get the big picture. I got the big picture before I got off the interstate. Before I got off the interstate, I didn't know where the hell I was going because I never went there. But uh, I was aware that while I was getting off that interstate, if I would have seen a damn sign that said uh, no, no trucks on this exit, you know, I would have been aware of that. Keep your eyes moving. Keep your eyes moving. That's me looking. Make sure I'm on a truck route. Make sure I'm doing the right thing. Leave yourself an out. How could I leave myself an out while I was on that road? Uh, mainly, mainly leaving myself an out was, you know, I think in that situation, I had to watch my speed. Watch my speed. Make sure I had enough room to go around curves. Uh, I'm not going to say tailgating because it was nobody in front of me for me to tailgate. I wasn't doing that. That was leaving myself out. Make sure they can see you. Of course they can see me on a small ass road because I'm the only fucking truck. Only one truck came came my direction. Uh, at that point in time, I make sure they see you. Yeah, I, when I when I got to that point where I had where it was two lanes, I put my uh, I put my blinkers on. So of course they can see that. I got a little bit of traffic behind me. But anyway, man. Hey, the Smith system. My GPS TND80. My Atlas, I threw it back there. I don't want to get up and grab it. Yeah, I, I use all three of those things, you know, to, to get me to my destination safely. But, you know, the GPS is a tool, Ram McNally is a tool. But I really made this video just for the young drivers that watch this video. You might have seen the comments about some guy like, oh, I, I've been trucking for 23 years and I never used the GPS. Round of applause. Made me make that ass clap. Round of applause, buddy. You been trucking 23 years and never used GPS? Hey, hey, good for you. Good for you, buddy. Good for you. I'm gonna use GPS. I could say I've been trucking for, I could say, I could say I've been, I had my CDL for 12 years, but I ain't been trucking that long. Hey. Hey, I, I, y'all, y'all might get pissed off at guys that uh, and y'all call them different. Y'all call them yard jockeys. That's what some people call them. But where I'm from, we call them yard dogs. I, I was a yard dog for a while. That's how I first got my CDL from being a yard dog, working at a steel plant. So I mean, I used to move empty trailers and you know stuff like stuff typical yard dog jobs and shit. Sometimes I drove the flatbed because it was a steel plant. We, we actually had, at that point in time, you know, I didn't know too much about flatbedding, but now that I look back at it, we uh, we shipped out steel steel skids. Like, same same skids y'all get now, but you, like, you can put two of them side by side, little small skids. That's what I used to do with that steel plant. I used to actually make the, make the little skids too, not pallets, the skids, little pallet. I actually used to make those. Like, some days, when it wasn't any yard work to do, I had to go inside the plant, get my little, uh, a little air hammer and used to make those man like 
hundred something. Used to make those. That's about it. Run back and forth between the, the shipping office and the front office. Uh, I was really like, you know, just help out different. I, sometimes I used to load the trucks. I used to drive a forklift and load trucks. But but I got my I got my CDL because when I started driving the uh, the yard the yard dog, I had a permit. I had a CDL permit. CDL permit only lasts six months at a time. Six months you gotta go back and renew it. You gotta take the test over. So um, they had me they had me running across town. Didn't even have a license. I just had a permit. So uh, <laughs> I'm in a little small town like that. You know, I don't know. I, I never got pulled over. But that's that's what they had me doing. And uh, finally, you know, I went and got my license. You used their truck. The DMV was right up the street. Went to, went to the DMV. Um, they got a food line parking lot beside the DMV. So I parked the truck over there. Walked over to the DMV. The lady came out. Got in the truck with me. We went down the road. Went to the um, place I worked at. Did like a U-turn. Came back up. Went to the food line. Bam, had my license. That's how easy that shit was. That's how easy it was, man. So, I, hey, I, I wasn't using no GPS then. I, I don't know, man. I don't even know if, if cell phones had GPSs at that point in time. That was 2007. Yeah, I don't even know if cell phones had GPSs. Back then, you know, if I was traveling out of state, I used MapQuest and get that shit printed out. Yeah, pretty much, man. So, don't get discouraged when these, these guys tell you. I've been trucking 23 years and never used GPS. Hey, good for you, buddy. But out here on this open road, you know, ain't nothing like using that GPS. It's it's a tool. That's what it is. It's a tool. It's not it's not a lifeline. It's a tool to help you get your job done. <sighs> Just like when you put nail when you put nails in wood, you know, you can use a hammer or you can use an air gun. You know, but the, the air gun is gonna be a lot better than using a hammer and a nail. But you know, it's just a tool to get the job done. So. I recommend you you don't don't use them I see guys on Facebook talking about what kind of app can I download on my phone as a, as a truck GPS I wouldn't trust those I, I will tell you I wouldn't trust those apps I tell you that because for one sometimes you're driving in places where your cell phone loses service and if you lose service you don't have any data to keep using that cell phone so I would recommend all you new truckers to make sure you get your GPS you don't got to spend the money like I spent on that one you know they got little small ones but see me I needed something big. I needed something big like this. I needed some big shit so I can look at it. it makes me feel safer. They, they do have GPS's at the truck stop like this size. I, I couldn't, hey, I don't got time to be squinting my eyes while I'm driving looking at it. I need something big. But anyway, I'm gonna wrap this video up, man. Hey, don't take this shit as a joke, man. It's real talk. Don't take this shit as a joke. I don't take it as a joke. I'm out, gang. I'm already here about to pick my load up. I originally planned on just talking for like two minutes and then, you know, flipping it to me picking this load up. That was my original plan, but I got carried away. So I'm going to drop this one video just by itself. So flatbed gang, I'm out. First load back. Y'all will be seeing me soon. I'm out.